Arkham Horror is a classic Cthulhu board game from Fantasy Flight. In Arkham Horror, you and your fellow investigators must work as a team in order to investigate the appearance of otherworldly horrors spilling into Arkham, Massachusetts. There's a bunch of portals opening up around town, and the Ancient Ones and the Minions are drawing closer to the investigators, to Arkham, and to destroying the world itself. Arkham Horror is a cooperative game that can be played solo or with up to seven other players combining with you to form a team that's working to defeat the monsters. It's a rules-heavy and highly thematic board game that's recommended for slightly older players, about 12 and up, and it does require a game group that's able to invest significant time and focus in this great game. Each turn in Arkham Horror has five different phases. The first one is called Upkeep. This is where players may adjust the linked skills of their investigator on their character sheet to adjust for the challenges that they're going to face in the turn ahead. They can also perform any other upkeep phases on the cards that they may have. The second movement phase is when players move to new locations on the board and either sneak past or are forced to battle the monsters that are in their way. Uh, they can also move through and explore the other worlds that exist on the other side of the gates. During the third phase, players have Arkham Encounters and either experience an encounter at their location by drawing the appropriate encounter card from the deck and following the instructions on the card or being drawn into a gate that leads to another world. If they've just returned from another world, they may use this phase to try and close or seal the gate that they just exited. The fourth Other World Encounter phase works much like Arkham Encounters, but is only for players who are already on the other sides of the gates and are operating within the other worlds. The final phase is the Mythos phase. This is where new clues appear on the board, new monsters come out through the existing gates, and the monsters that are already there are able to move around, creating new obstacles for the players. Arkham Horror also has numerous other minor rules, covering everything from allies, spells, equipment, combat, movement for different types of monsters, the number of monsters on the board, the terror track, and combat with the Ancient One, which we're just not going to cover here. So one of the great things about Arkham Horror is the really immersive Lovecraftian mood and theme. It really permeates the entire game and lets you really get absorbed in a, a storytelling experience. Because the gameplay is so varied with all of the phases as well as all of the extra minor rules, there's also a high replay value and even though it's a long game, players aren't really going to get bored. The difficulty also does ramp up rather quickly, so from very early on, every single turn is quite tense and suspenseful. That being said, as you can see, this game does take an unusually large amount of table space, so you may find yourself adjusting your gaming space by pulling over the coffee table or otherwise trying to accommodate its size. Uh, the large amount of rules also means you're going to be referring to the rulebook quite a bit during the game, and it's not particularly well laid out or organized, so you may find yourself spending a lot of time flipping through to find just the right rule that you need at that moment. I love Arkham Horror, it's really one of my favorite games. It's remarkably adaptable. You can accommodate any number of players from one to eight. There's also eight expansions available on the market right now, so they're all of different sizes and different complexities. You can buy them if you want to spread out, have a longer game, and have a more complicated game if you've really got a diehard set of players. Some cons though, with that very large setup is a very long setup and a very long playing time. So you have to have a group of dedicated players who are really willing to focus for several hours to get through Arkham Horror. Another thing that's not particularly intuitive about Arkham Horror is the monster versus player combat. It's a bit clunky, it may take some of your newer players just a little bit to get used to that part of the game. One tip for if you are dealing with a large number of new players is to have one experienced player manage the entire mythos phase. This means that new players really just have to focus on their character and how they interact with the environment, which lets them get really immersed in the story and manage a slightly smaller set of rules and variables uh, that they can get used to over the course of their first game. 